Our growth at home in the Cup should be fairly straightforward for a team of Celtic stature, especially when the visitors go out of their way to lend a helping hand. Our both had kept their composure for 35 minutes until Captain Stuart Malcolm suddenly lost his. Needless to say, a disbelieving Alex Keddie knew little about the attempted clearance. A goal to the good, Celtic set about putting the tie beyond our growth, and they nearly did when some good set-up play by Tony Watt set up the Celtic captain. No wonder Scott Brown was annoyed. Scott Morrison in goal had to be sharp to keep the deficit at just one. There would be more from him later. Talking of keepers, Lucas Zaluska hardly had a touch of the ball in the first 45, but you never know when your services might be needed. And they were when Mark Baxter made a rare foray forward from right back. Stephen Doris with the assist. But Zaluska was in just the right spot. After the break, the procession towards the Arbroath goal continued. Surely Celtic would capitalise on the many chances they created in the game. A few fell to striker Miku, but it wasn't his day. He was set up by Rabiu Ibrahim, but the woodwork denied the Venezuelan forward the goal that would have brought some comfort. So would Celtic rue all their misses? With three minutes to go, Stephen Doris made sure they did, as his free kick was deflected in, and our ghost's wildest dreams came true. And boy, did they celebrate it. Sometimes you need a bit of luck, and the big deflection ensured a big payday for the replay. Celtic did have one last chance to avoid a trip to Gayfield. It fell to substitute Lassad. Nothing wrong with his shot or the save from Scott Morrison. The goalkeeper may well be a busy man in the replay, for which the whole plot can't wait.